Hi there, I'm Rowdy Rowderbush, iconic Telluride cowboy in a recent article. And this is my old friend, Old Golly, who was born right here behind the barn. He's been with me every day for 26 years. And he'll bite your ass. Milking cows led me to higher education. I'd ask my dad, why do we have to get up at four in the morning to milk the cows? And he'd say, so you'd be done in time to get to school early. If you don't like milking these cows, you better start studying. And of course, in those days, you know, poor Irish Catholic immigrants were encouraged to get an education. Our parents told us, hey, we're immigrants, they're prejudiced against us. You gotta try harder, you gotta do better. 64, I got, out of, I got away from the Jesuits and hit the University of Wisconsin where beautiful women were saying, make love, not war. I was a liberal for decades as a result of it. Found Telluride in 70, and there was nobody here. So there were openings, see, for drunk cowboys. God, it was fun. The average age was 26 when we opened the ski area in 72. No grown-ups to speak of. Everybody's drunk. Not everybody, but... But your question about the horses, I started doing it 73 out in Town Park, uh -huh. and, uh, and you know, 85, I kind of got serious. But uh, you, you got to be careful and tell you, right, they'll give you a job. You got to avoid jobs, and uh, particularly jobs that require new clothes. Oh, it is just a, a, what luck uh, to have landed here where um, we've been allowed to do pretty much what we please. And of course, a great deal of our lives were spent as outlaws. And uh, again, Bob Dylan, you got to be pretty honest if you're going to be an outlaw. You know, the pot smugglers and drug dealers I've dealt with are, you know, while we all try to screw each other a little, the honesty level, you know, a guy told me once, if you don't, Rowdy, I love you to death, but if you don't pay me for this shit, I'm going to kill you. Well, if, if bankers in New York City, see, were held to this same level, you know, and so I paid him, no problem. I was happy to pay him. That was the deal. You give your word, you keep your word. Simple, ain't it? When the terrorists get within rifle range of my barn here, they'll be a ragged lot. I got two Marines and a Navy SEAL on the road you just came up, who were watching you as you went by their house through the scope on their rifles. And hardly anybody's got an assault weapon. Don't need them. What we need is something that'll shoot a thousand yards. Reality TV people, the things I've done recently. God, I do a lot of stuff for a guy that lives at the end of the road. This is the ranch for uh, Sam Elliott's show, The Ranch. So the intro to this show on Netflix, uh, I, they wanted a barn with a view. And so they're filming out the barn door and I open the barn doors, uh, but silhouetted, morning light. And, uh, but my dog walks right up to that camera and smiles. And they called and said, would you sell that dog? I would not. They didn't offer me a million dollars for him. He'd be gone. Well, I mean, you know, uh, this guy that just the killed ambassador. himself, old uh, Gus. And this is your and friend, he, he said he killed himself yesterday? Hung himself. Really? Uh, well, I found out about it late yesterday, so probably the night before. <laughs> well, he, we ain't scared of dying. You know, we, Gus was caught in several avalanches in his life. I mean, and I've always said, you know, the adrenaline rush of our lives, you know, is that maybe that's what we're addicted to. But he didn't want any more surgery and he was tired of the doctors. And, and so I just hope he had a nice clean drop. Hanging seems a hard way to risk it to me. But, but there's still, you know, what my thought with Gus is, God, there ain't gonna be any of us left. You know, so shopkeepers, you know, they ain't gonna catch me or Butch Cassidy right. on this thoroughbred horse who I really raised uh, to uh, to rob the bank on. This uh, horse, Old Valley here, is uh, uh, his mother was my best horse ever. And so I raised him to run, to rob the bank on, but they, they couldn't even envision that that was actually my cowboy fantasy dream. Oh, for years, there's a poem about how tell you I got his name. And during that cycle of my life, I did it a lot on my horse, in the bar, and uh, 
So today's show, Good Morning America, several times, NBC Sports, anytime anybody came to do an event, part of the shtick of Telluride was for me to ride my horse in the bar and say to the camera that there was a cowboy drunk on the bar room floor, having drunk so much whiskey he could drink no more. He went to sleep with a troubled brain and dreamed he rode the hellbound train. The devil himself was the engineer, boiler was filled with lager beer. He himself was shoveling bones while all through the train you could hear the groans of black men, yellow men, white, all chained together. My God, what a sight. And all the time the devil walking up and down the aisle screaming, to hell you ride. So the slower you say it, you know, the more time you get. Keep in mind that you're here filming me because I'm a lot fucking cooler than you are. Ooh, ooh. They packed up and stormed off. That's badass. Adios.